are in the parking garage, which is usually extremely full, but I don't think so this time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, that is empty. I have a choice of parking slots, which I never had in the past. So let's park under the light in the middle. And here is my ticket. Probably not visible enough. This for me is very unusual situation. Normally this place is packed full. You cannot get in or you have to wait to get in. It's it's really unimaginable that this can be parking lot in San Francisco. Well, it is what it is. Let's try the elevators to Chinatown, which is just above. We are in the middle of Chinatown. Okay. I hear something, so it seems that it's working. And yes, it is. Oh, come on. So, okay, where do I go? I should go Let's go the first. No. Let's go to the third. So I'm in the third. Let's try things. Yeah, I guess that was it. And take a ticket with you. Pay at pay station before returning. To your vehicle. Yeah, and we are here. This place is also packed in normal times. Chinese man playing cards here and games it's it's not necessarily like a zombie town because people are here but it's different very different Chinatown on my left and I'll go there but first I want to go somewhere else and you will see where very soon it should be like five minutes from here Tattoo. No, I don't want a tattoo. Suzy Hotel. Psychic Palm and Tarot Card readings. Uh, I don't think so. And this is where I I wanted to take you. City Lights Bookstore. And 
but I will tell you why very soon. Does it ring a bell? Jack Terua on the road. And this is probably some of the members of the beat generation. The bookstore was established by Lawrence Ferlinghetti. One of the members along with Jack Kerouac of the beat beat next generation and this was the first store in the United States maybe in the world which was selling paperbacks only and here it is In 1955, Lawrence Ferlinghetti launched City Lights Publishers with the now famous Pocket Poets series. And so on. And here is a poet from a poem from Lawrence Ferlinghetti from Poetry as Insurgent Art. I am signaling you through the flames. The North Pole is not where it used to be. Manifest destiny is no longer manifest. Civilization self-destructs. Nemesis is knocking at the door. What are poets for in such an age? What is the use of poetry? The state of the world calls out for poetry to save it. Well, it would be nice if it worked. Allen Ginsberg Hall, a history. How was read here by the author Allen Ginsberg in 1955. Actually, not here, it was at the Sixth Gallery. Part of a second printing was seized by U.S. Customs on March 2557. The charge was obscenity. And this is Lawrence Ferlinghetti many years ago. Actually, he used to live here upstairs. And in 2019, there were four North Beach locations where they celebrated Lawrence's birthday, 100th birthday. So the beach generation, of course, it was not just those three guys. You can see their books here, some of them. And as I mentioned, the bookstore is functioning again, not only as a bookstore, but as a gathering place for left-leaning, progressive, progressive people and artists. And here it is. 
from the outside. And over there is Transamerica Tower, Pyramid.